Now, before you smash the dislike button and jump down my throat in the comments, I love my PlayStation Portal. It has been fantastic for me, but that doesn't mean it will be fantastic for you. Now, I've been using the PlayStation Portal since launch day, and nothing in life is perfect, and the PlayStation Portal is no different, as it has some big flaws you need to be aware of if you're thinking about picking one up. So, let's get into these problems. I wasn't sure what to call this problem, so I've typed up lack of out of the box playability slash usability. So you're probably thinking, Murray, what the hell do you mean by that? Well, what I mean is, I see a lot of comments under all my videos, people saying that the gameplay is pixelated on their portal, they get a lot of lag, it disconnects, all of these kind of things. And in my mind, this is all to do with your home network, your home internet setup. And I think a lot of people maybe have, you know, standard routers or modems, or routers, whatever you call it, from your internet service provider, which are maybe not up to the task. And it's not just about your internet speed. So you might say, I've got 100 megabytes or 500 megabytes speed up or down. It should work fine, but it's more about your actual home network. I'm really lucky. I've got a Wi-Fi 6 mesh network, so I get really good coverage about my house. And if you're outside, all that kind of stuff, you know, in the garden, for example, you might not have that, and that is what I mean about the lack of out-of-the-box playability or usability, comma here, for some people. As a lot of people think it's amazing, like me, it runs perfectly. The only thing I, I ever did or had to do, which I think made a difference, was I put an Ethernet cable into my PlayStation Portal not my PlayStation Portal, my PlayStation 5, so it's hardwired to the internet and that made a huge difference to the performance of my portal. Other than that, it's really been fantastic, but I see a lot of these comments. I think maybe some people, their modems, their routers are not in an ideal position. Maybe it's not a very good one. Maybe it's an old one. You maybe need to upgrade and get a gaming one. Who knows, it's your own network, so you need to do a little bit of digging there if you're having problems and you really want to get this working the best it can. Now, that is a major problem because ideally we shouldn't have to do that. We should just take it out of the box, connect it to the internet, and it works. But unfortunately, for some people, that is not the case. And why am I calling this out just now? Because a lot of people are maybe not aware of this, and especially you might be buying this for your kid, for example, as a present for their birthdays, their Christmas or whatever, and not aware, then they get this and it maybe doesn't work. So definitely look into that, see what the situation is with your internet home network setup, and then hopefully you should be all good. Leave any comments down below if you have about this, and we'll see if me or anyone in the community here at Pure PSX can help you out if you are having problems with your home network and your PlayStation Portal. Now, next up, I had no network browser for accessing public Wi-Fi. Oh, this is a this is an annoying one. If you're out and about, say maybe a coffee shop or something like that, and you take your portal with you and you want to play it you might be stuck because a lot of public Wi-Fi networks, you need to enter a password, which you need a browser to access that page to put in the password. And with this, there's no browser on board the actual PlayStation portal, so you can't do that, which means you are left, I guess the only other option is to connect to your mobile phone as a hotspot, connect to your mobile phone's wireless hotspot, and then you can play the games, but, you're using up maybe your data plan or your battery on your phone, whereas you could just connect to whatever Wi-Fi is in the coffee shop you're at, for example, or maybe even an airport, you never know. But if they don't have that, mm, it's a big pain in the neck. This could be easily fixed if Sony just pushed a little update and gave us maybe a simple web browser on this. But I don't think they'll do that. I think they're worried about these things getting hacked and people emulating on them and using ROMs on them. So I don't know. I don't think that will happen. Fingers crossed it does because that is a big problem, which takes away from the portability of it as you could then use this place, this place, this portal in a lot more places is what I'm trying to say. 
Another major problem here, which I think Sony will hopefully address in the future, and I think will make this even more popular. I know a lot of people hate this. It's a kind of Marmite device, but it's sold out everywhere pretty much all the time. So there is a demand. A lot of people love it. I'm one of them. I think it's great. I use it all the time, basically daily. This is how I play my PlayStation 5 now. But enough of that gushing about the portal here. What I'm trying to say is the thing that I think PlayStation will fix about this is the lack of PlayStation Plus game streaming. So cloud streaming, that is streaming the games straight from PlayStation Plus's cloud servers to your device without having to download the game to your PlayStation 5. Wow, that would just be amazing. That would open up so many other things. I've seen quite a few Xbox, well, they're not actually Xbox handhelds, but handhelds that you can play Xbox cloud gaming through, so you don't need to download anything to the Xbox. You can just play it straight from the server. Sony, I think if they do that with this, would be a game changer. People would love it. It would save you having to download games if you decide you want to play them on your portal, stream it straight from the net, and away you go. Let me know if you'd like to see that on your PlayStation portal. I'm actually just editing this video right now, and I've just realized that if the PlayStation portal allowed PlayStation Cloud Gaming, that would mean you would not need a PlayStation 5 to play the PlayStation Portal. All you would need is a PlayStation Plus subscription. That could be huge. Let me know what you think about that and if that would make you want to pick up a PlayStation Portal even more. The next problem has a bit of a scale as this might be a problem for you or it might not. So let me know what you think about this in the comments if you have a Portal. And for me, it actually is the battery life. Because as you can see here, I always have, uh, if this would slide out, yep, I always have my brightness up to the maximum because the screen just really pops, it looks amazing and I don't know, I just always like my screen brightness up full but that has a big impact on the battery life as I find I'm charging my portal literally every day. So I play it for a couple of hours and then I need to charge it because when I pick it up the next day to play it, the battery seems to go like that, like really quickly. You still will get four or five hours, but I still find I'm charging it every day, which is a bit annoying. Um, you can make this a little bit easier by having a portable battery pack to take about with you, but it would be nice just to see a little bit longer from the battery. I guess you could fix this by turning down the brightness. That will make a big difference, but I like it looking like that. It just looks so good, but Maybe the next version of the portal will have an even better battery life along with all these other problems addressed which we're talking about in this video. Now we've already spoken about streaming games from the cloud. This is streaming media we're talking about next and not even from the cloud but that would be cool but just straight from your PlayStation. We can't watch YouTube, your Paramount Plus, your Apple TV, your Disney Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all of these things which I think would be pretty cool on this really nice screen. So you could be chilling out on the sofa, the family, the kids, whoever could be watching something else on the TV. You could plug your earphones in and you could be watching what you want on your portal because this screen is absolutely amazing. It really pops. It's honestly the best LCD screen I've probably ever seen. You, people moan it's not OLED, but trust me, that is not a problem here. The screen on this is top notch. So watching some... Nice YouTube content like this video here on a portal would be pretty cool. I don't know why they don't allow us to do that. It must be a licensing issue, I assume, but that's something that could easily be fixed by an update. The portal is more than capable of doing this. It already streams the game, so why not streaming YouTube, you know, Apple TV, all of these things. I'd really like to see that, and I think it is a big miss from the portal. Now, the next problem is a big one and it is at the hardware level on the device. So it's not something like some of the other problems we have previously spoken about, which could be fixed with a software update sent out from Sony. This one is no Bluetooth, is available on the PlayStation Portal. There's no Bluetooth chip inside this device supposedly, so that means you can't use your Apple AirPods, your Razer wireless headphones, or whatever it is you use with this. You need to buy really expensive PlayStation branded headphones to use, like the Explorer Buds, which cost the exact same price as the PlayStation Portal. So 
that's a bit expensive. If you've got money to burn, you'll be sorted. It's a lot of money though. I'm just like, Sony, why? 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 Come on. They seem to do this a lot. I think this is just because they're a hardware company. Obviously, they'll make more money selling more hardware, but these things just, they bug me. Like the Vita with the um, proprietary storage. Why did they do that? See, if that was just a standard memory card back in the day, that would have helped the Vita be so much more successful. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, as you can fix some of these problems I've mentioned in this video by checking out my accessories guide video, which is on screen right now.